I want to start this off by saying why are people surprised as to how the DualShock 5 controller looks. I'm seeing people make comments thinking that PS5's controller was going to be very different from the PlayStation 4. So I'm going to give you two official points as to why you shouldn't have been surprised and we'll dive into six new changes to the DualShock 5. First though, I really want to know, did any of you really think the DualShock 5 was going to be that much different than the DualShock 4? Maybe I'm alone in this. Comment below if you expected the DualShock 5 to be very different from the DualShock 4 or if you didn't expect it and this wasn't a surprise to you. Let me know down in the comments below. So the news is that the DualShock 5 controller images have leaked via a new patent filed in Japan and a lot of people seem to be surprised that it looks like the DualShock 4. Let me quickly explain why you shouldn't have been surprised if you were. One, look at the history of PlayStation controllers. Sony has been known to keep similar designs across generations. The DualShock 1, 2, 3 looked identical and while the DualShock 4 did change, the structure remained the same as the previous controllers. My second point on this is the interviewer for Wired Magazine who interviewed PlayStation architect Mark Cerny earlier this year already confirmed that he was given a PlayStation 5 controller prototype that looked a lot like the DualShock 4 but with a few tweaks which honestly was expected again given PlayStation's history. So I'm not sure why I see people acting as if Sony should have made a drastic change to the controller design considering a lot of people love the DualShock 4 including myself. But now to dive into the changes the more interesting side here and as a reminder this is just a patent at this point let's cover the six new changes number one this is the biggest controversy right now for people, the light bar on the back of the controller seems to have disappeared and all you see is the USB-C port. The light bar was used for 3D motion tracking, working alongside the PlayStation 4 camera. I personally see this as a positive because of battery life. Also ask yourself this, when was the last time you really used motion sensing on the PlayStation 4 unless you have the PlayStation VR? Honestly, let me know in the comments below. Number two, the bigger touchpad. The touchpad in the center appears to be bigger and at this point we don't know for sure if this is a touchpad or possibly the rumored touch screen, which I hope it isn't the case simply because that would hurt battery life again. Number three, I'm hearing the sticks appear to be smaller, but I'm not sure if I see that personally. You guys let me know if you think the sticks are smaller than what we have on the DualShock 4. Number four, with the light bar gone and the controller looking a bit larger than the DualShock 4, battery life could be way better with the DualShock 5, which honestly has me excited. Number five, the controller now looks to have a mic at the center, which was kind of already confirmed by the Wired Magazine interview, so I better hear more people talking in lobbies in 2020 because now you have no excuse not to have a mic when it's literally on the controller. The Wired Magazine article also guessed this could be used for AI assistance, similar to what Google Stadia is doing as well. Number six, the triggers on the DualShock 5 appear to be larger, probably for the adaptive trigger feature, which lets you feel resistance based on what you're doing in the game like pulling a bow back and feeling that pull and i think that's everything let me know if i missed anything in the comments below and if you did enjoy this video please hit that like button as it always helps and subscribe if you're new i got new videos every monday wednesday and friday and now i'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome for today's thing what i want you guys to do is to body obliterate destroy and harass the comment section with ps5 hype train because this is two videos i've made today regarding the playstation 5 we're pretty much jumping into the swing of playstation 5 news it seems like so if you're hyped and you feel the same way destroy the comment section with ps5 hype train and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one